All right, y'all. So I'm going to show you how to take a grill and just some really simple ingredients to make a great recipe. Sarah's tired. I'm worn out. I mean, while I get set up, you guys check this out. We were out today, caught an awesome big old bull dolphin and a bunch of snapper. That's one of the snapper. All right, so we've been out snapper fishing a little bit today, caught a handful, and uh, having a great day. It's flat, got my brother, the stepson Trey over there. The channel has been absolutely going off lately. We hit 15,000 subscribers, I don't know, today or yesterday, and uh, just amazing. As always, this is what we do. It's our life right here off Jupiter, just having a good time. If we hook one, we'll let you know. Nothing like flat, calm bay off Jupiter hooking a big dolphin. Woohoo! Oh, look, 40 pound leader. That gum. Why is he deciding to go to the bottom for? Trey, come re reel this back rod in. He's not a very acrobatic dolphin. No. But, that's a good thing. I get 10 times more nervous doing this than I do shooting a giant deer. <laughs> How it makes me sick. <laughs> Give it a little gas, go to him. Hey Gabe, I'm, put, I'm took the iron bait. He's shaking his head, something fierce. He's big, Gabe. I know that. It just said something, I don't know what it said. But... Here he comes. Okay, bump forward. He's not really. A little bit of gas. And we're just going to flank him. Oh, yeah, he's a stud. Get the gaff in your hand. I, I gotcha. It's 35. Take okay, easy. Bump it. Between your legs. I got gotcha. you. Just, just go to neutral. Now bump it forward. I got him right where I want him. Are we gonna get him? Yeah, I got him. Come here, buddy. Ugh. Come here, buddy. You're about to make me puke. Turn a hard left. Straighten it up. A little bit more gas. Oh, I got him right here. Woo! <laughs> nice fish, Gabe. Why did he turn white? Awesome. Why did he turn white? Robert? Hold on. What you think, Trey? That's one of the best dolphin I've seen in my lifetime. It turned white. Oh yeah. 40 pounder, 35, 40. <laughs> you better not let him up. He ain't going nowhere. All right, everybody, so that is how you come out off Jupiter and catch big old bull dolphin. That's my little brother Gabe. That's his stepson Trey. Pretty epic. I mean, that was a great fish. Super, super happy just to be able to go out off Jupiter with my brother and Trey and catch a nice big dolphin. Here's a nice pineapple. How do you know if a pineapple's fresh and if it's ripe? Take one of the center leaves right here and just pull it out. If it pulls out with just a little pop, you can smell it. It should have just a slightly sweet flavor. We're gonna do some grilled pineapple tonight. We'll save that. That knife works nice for that. Oh yeah, I love this. This is that new silver stag they just sent me. Now, you got that? Go ahead and slice it nice and thick. About an inch thick. Now we're gonna take our snapper fillets. 
And you can do this with any kind of fish other than a snook. If you cook a, a snook skin, soap. It'll, it'll taste like soap. Yeah, that's why they called it soap fish. Check on, click on this video right there and you'll see him filleting a snook. Yeah. I'm really over seasoning the skin because I just wanted to have a real flavorful crispy crunch to it and that's it I mean there's no no salt pepper no nothing just use your little fish and chicken and be over it as you guys can see in this wonderful background representing the new Arrington weed as you call it I like to call this one Miss what are we going to call it? Um, Doris. This is Doris. Say hi, Doris. And he's a cute little man. He's a little Doris. He's a big Doris. Yes, let's just showcase Doris for a little while. All her wonderful features. She's a beautiful centerpiece. Complements the table very well. Not big at all. And it resembles Sally. Thumbs up. Remember I was yelling at me to get out of here. I was showcasing Doris. Okay. Here we go. Got our little little grill. Make sure you You want to oil your grill first. That's just some Pam olive oil spray. And I even like to spray the fish. And no, it doesn't taste like Pam after. No. All right. So we're going to start off. This pineapple is going to take a little while. There you go. And I know you're gonna think I'm crazy, but a little bit of salt on your grilled pineapple really enhances the flavor. So we'll just let that cook for just a moment. When you grill pineapple, it really accentuates the flavor of the pineapple. Just brings out all that natural sweetness and it goes so good with grilled fish. So if you're in the Midwest or you're somewhere in the interior portion of the country, you can do the same dish with, um, with like walleye. Walleye is a nice, beautiful white fish. You can leave the skin on, great. Uh, or any of the fish here in the salt water really goes great with Good snapper, it's hard to beat. With the skin side down on our fish, just like this. Skin side down? Or, or, or the meat side down, I don't know why I said that. Just like that, beautiful. With this fish, we're just going to let it cook for, I guess it's been on there for about two minutes. No more. You want to gently grab your fish. Oh, look at the flavor. Now, why did you put the skin up first? Okay, so here, that is a great question, honey. Okay, so the reason that I started it with the with the flesh side down 
is because the more and more this fish gets done, it's gonna wanna sort of flake apart. This is very delicate. It's mutton snapper, so it wants to come apart. It's very delicate, mild, amazing fish. So if you start it with the skin down, then you flip it over, you're actually trying to get this, the meat off the grill when it's done and wanting to come apart. You don't wanna do that. Start it off with the flesh down, let it cook for about two minutes, then flip it over so the skin is down. The skin's a lot more durable and you can let it get nice and crispy, get under it, put it right on your plate. You only flip this fish one time. Don't flip it twice. Pineapple's coming along nicely. Hey, Rimmer Dimmer. All right, so we've got the fish cooking skin side down and it's been on there for about three minutes. Two minutes on the, on the meat side down and then about three minutes with the skin side down. You can see it's coming together nicely. That's why you spray it with yep. And that's why you, that's why you start it off with the meat side down. Because if you started out with the, if you start, if if I was trying to do this with the meat, a lot of it would, would want to come onto the grill, stay on the grill. Mm, beautiful. Looks like that. And I should have sprayed that skin with Pam. You no, I did not. I did not spray the skin with Pam. Oh, look at that! Beautiful. Big old nice piece of fish. Dear Lord, thank you so much for this day, for this food, and for what a wonderful day out fishing. Lord, I pray that you watch over us and guide us, keep us safe, nourish us, food to our body. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Okay, so do you eat the skin or do you pull it, peel it off from the skin? Either one. Okay, I'm gonna try peeling it off first. Mm. Very flavorful. Okay, so Tebow's been in timeout. He's uh, he's been being a naughty boy, so we had him inside. Do you guys think we should let him out? Tebow, do you want to come out here with us? Tebow, come on out. Where's Mar? On your feet. Oh yeah. Come on, buddy. Well, I guess it's that time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the video. I know for a fact you're gonna like the next video. So, keep watching, subscribe now, and we're out.